Hi, my name is Kai Shuang, a vacation engineer from Keysight eSoft Device Mountain Group. Many customers have told us that they wish to measure noises on devices, but they also wish to integrate this into a larger test suite that can manage the full wafer level measurement. They also wish the measurement system could be flexible and expandable. Wafer Pro Express offers just that. So today, we are excited to present the latest advanced low-frequency noise analyzer combined with Wafer Pro Express. Here we have a Cascade Microtech prop station. In this case, it's a Summit 12000. We also have a Keysight B500A, the semiconductor device analyzer used to apply bias to the device under test. Lastly, we have this PXI chassis. The PXI chassis houses the E4727A, an advanced low frequency noise analyzer. The PXI chassis controls those remote modules to get the noise measurement as close to the device as possible. The E4727A Advanced Low Frequency Noise Analyzer enables a closer, deeper look at noise. A device designer or categorization engineer may extract noise models using powerful device modeling software like the Device Model Builder MBP or the Integrated Circuit Characterization Analysis Program ICCAD. The models can be used by circuit designers to push the envelope in the low frequency circuitry. One great way of analyzing noise is in terms of its power spectral density or the frequency content of the voltage fluctuations. In this graph, we see a flat part called white noise and a sloped part called 1RF noise. Here, we observe real measurements on an NMOS device. We see that the current noise density depends on device current. Thanks to the AFNA hardware architecture, we are able to measure down to 0.03 Hz. The hardware uses a different amplifier for the ultra low frequency band, so we have to stitch this data together. Now, we want to measure this data across an entire wafer. Here, we present one possible configuration of a noise measurement although many others are possible using these modules. To measure noise in a CMOS device, the source measurement unit, like the Keysight B500A, is used to apply bias and measure DC operating points. When measuring noise, the source measurement unit noise contribution must be filtered out. The voltage noise is amplified and analyzed using a high-speed digitizer. The variable resistance, switching, and filtering functions are included in the remote ALFNA modules, which will be placed close to the device under test, so as to minimize the cable capacitance and ohmic noises. Here, we show how the output module may be connected across the drain and source of an FET. It may be similarly connected across the connector and the emitter of a bipolar transistor, anode and cathode of a diode. The two terminals of a resistor or the output terminals of an operational amplifier IC. Here we have a new WPE ALFNA project. We add a sequence, temperature, and wafer. And then specify the subside and home location. For each device, we choose from a myriad of routines to execute our measurement. Any one of those routines can be edited and customized with Python code. Now we initiate a new measurement. Once the measurement is done, we can look at those different outputs, including DC current and voltage measurements, SID, SVD, SVG, and the random telegraph noise. All the data is conveniently exported to .MDM format for post-processing, device modeling, and analysis. If you are interested in making unwafer low-frequency noise measurements, please contact your local Keysight sales representative for more information or even a live demo. 
Thanks for watching.